With the constant rise of Facebook ad costs for us dropshippers and also the increase in competition, we have to start looking into finding new creative ways to market off our products. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys one very interesting marketing method and that is going to be Pinterest. Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Billy Sonora and today we're going to be taking a look at how to create successful Pinterest ads for your dropshipping store on Shopify. This is basically going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial for you beginners new to Pinterest, which I assume most of you guys are as I haven't seen a video covering this topic yet regarding the Shopify dropshipping space. By the minute, it's getting more important to start looking into new advertising methods, new advertising platforms as Instagram influencers, Facebook ads are getting more expensive and you really have to start looking into new creative ways to market off your dropshipping products. By choosing to advertise on Pinterest, we're exposing ourselves to a completely new market and therefore we have a new target audience to sell off our products to. So in today's video, we're going to be going through the whole launching and creation process of Pinterest ad. What different campaign types are they using Pinterest ads? Why it's going to be necessary in the up and coming months and years to choose to target also on Pinterest and also what other steps and necessary measurements you have to take while creating your business account and launching your very first ad. But before we dive into today's video, I still have to announce the giveaway winners of my previous video and also the video before that. So the winner of last video's giveaway winner, so from the product video, is gonna be you. Congratulations to you, hit me up on Instagram. The winner of the store live setup, so also winning the store that I built live in the video is this guy. Congratulations to you, write me on Instagram so I can send you my details of the store so you can take it over. And beyond that, I'm also gonna be giving away one free consulting call in this video regarding your Shopify store. So anything you might be struggling with, I will help you out. Whether it is the store creation process, finding the right products, launching successful Facebook ads, or maybe even looking into advertising on Pinterest. To be entered in today's giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and also comment hashtag Shopify pins to be entered in the giveaway. So let's dive right into the video. We want to start off by taking a look at the Pinterest buyer intent. 90% of weekly users are looking on Pinterest to make purchasing decisions. So definitely a great benefit that we have on marketing on Pinterest. 55% of users said they log in onto Pinterest to find new products. So as you guys can see, Pinterest users are really looking on Pinterest to find new products that they might be interested in. 50% of Pinterest users say they buy something after seeing a promoted pin slash ad. Promoted pins are basically another term for Pinterest ads. And number four, Pinterest is about four times more effective at generating sales than any other social media platform. So beyond these statistics, why should you look into advertising on Pinterest? First of all, Pinterest is an actively growing new social media platform. They're consistently rising and therefore a new and untapped marketplace for us dropshippers to advertise on. Not a lot of people are taking action and advertising their products on Pinterest as in comparison to Facebook ads and also influencer marketing. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys will be familiar with the fact that Facebook ads are getting more expensive by the day, by the month, by the year. And therefore, especially new dropshippers with a little bit of a lower budget have to look into different advertising methods as Facebook ads will be tougher to receive very good results with. The CPM is getting more expensive, the CPC is getting more expensive, and it will cost us more to get a person to buy our product. And therefore, we have to look into choosing different advertising methods. Another hidden benefit is that pins last for months or years. Therefore, we have a consistent organic traffic source bringing in new customers, new people that might be interested in our products. A benefit that we might not have in comparison to the other social media marketing platforms. For those of you unfamiliar with Pinterest and their browsing page, this is basically how it looks like. This is my personal accounts that I actually set up for this. And as you guys can see, lots of different pins. You can create your account on your personal preferences of your interests. So let's say you're interested in fashion, you're interested in maybe motivational sayings, some infographics, or maybe cars, sports, whatever, you name it. And there are different criteria which you can optimize your feed to be. So first of all, we wanna distinguish the difference between a normal pin and also a promoted advertised pin. So if we take a look at this one, it gets big arms, basically some kind of different drills and exercises to do to increase your arms. 
uh, basically anything to do with working out. This is a normal pin and as you guys can see we click on it once and to click on it again we basically have to do a double click to get to their page whether this is a blog post or a shopping page whatever. So in this case it's a blog post and it is a normal pin that is promoted into our normal browsing page. Promoted pins Advertised pins are very easy to recognize and distinguish from normal pins as you will see promoted by so and so forth on the bottom of the pin. And with this, you just have to click on it once and then you're automatically pushed on through to the product page. This is a great benefit in comparison to Instagram especially as usually when you promote via Instagram, you will only have a product link in the bio. And in this way, we're only one click away from sending our potential customers to our landing page. So one step less for our potential customers for us to convert into a sale. Some of the best niches to advertise on Pinterest are gonna be fashion, home decor, fitness, health, cooking, pets, or also anything around parenting and your babies and your children. So those would be the best niches and products you should sell off using Pinterest. There are currently over 300 million active monthly users on Pinterest, so an insane statistic right there, and over 85 million of those are from the USA alone. So regarding advertising and creating pins for your Pinterest board wall, and also to advertise these pins, you will definitely have to make sure that you have the right pin size. Another benefit you will have when advertising on Pinterest is to have multiple pins. In this case, the Pinterest algorithm favors your pins and you will be pushed out to a broader audience. So make sure you're split testing different pins in this case to see which one performs best and also when posting pins organically. As in order to fit into the feed, they will have to be horizontal images in the best case scenario, a two to three to a one to two ratio. And they also have to have a minimum of 600 times 900 pixel size. So this might mean you will have to create extra individual images just only for Pinterest. This might be quite tedious and annoying, but using Canva, this can be easy to set up and you can easily create pins using these multiple templates from Canva. So if we just take this one as an example, as we're doing a completely example store, um, we're not showing any particular products off. As this is an example, we're not we're gonna really look into this too much. We're gonna download this and we're gonna upload this later on our Pinterest wall so we can promote this pin. So in order to start advertising on Pinterest, you will have to set up a business account. This isn't too difficult to set up, so for that reason, I'm gonna skip this step and this process. So this is basically the ad dashboard of Pinterest. Right here, you have your business account. So in this case, example store, that's what I named my business account for this one, as this is just an example. Right here, you can create a pin, create a story pin, or create an ad. They're still working on implementing a story pin, and that will change the feature and the way Pinterest looks. So as soon as this is live, maybe actually look into starting advertising via the story pin, as I do believe the CPC and CPM will be much lower in comparison. And also, if you start looking into advertising on Pinterest, you will get contacted by a Pinterest support member they will really help you out to learn the fundamentals and also the basics of advertising on Pinterest. So this is basically the dashboard of the ads menu. So right here we have a menu, create ad, overview, reporting, bulk editor, conversions, audience, ad account history, and also billing. So this is gonna be the interface and the five different campaign types you can start advertising on using Pinterest. So we have brand awareness, help people discover your brand, products and other services, and also video views, drive views to your video. Drive consideration, we have traffic, increase your traffic to destinations on or off Pinterest, and app and install get more interest. But the one we're gonna be interested in is gonna be conversions. But for this, we have to install the tag into our Shopify store, and that's what we're gonna do right now. So for that, we have to click on get tag, it will load up, and we create a Pinterest tag. This way we can track conversions, measure results, and build audiences, so similar to the Facebook pixel. So we create a Pinterest tag, and this is basically the whole tutorial how to set it up and how to integrate it into your store. And we're just gonna integrate this tag into the store we created a few videos ago. So basically, we're just gonna call it example store tag. Obviously, call it appropriately to your store, your brand name. So this is our uniquely created tag ID, this number, and it also shows up down here. So we're just gonna basically copy all of this and we're gonna integrate it into our Shopify site. So now we're into the Shopify interface and now we go under edit code and we're gonna be looking for the head section under theme liquid. We're gonna want to install this right above right here. So all we're gonna have to do is copy paste 
Now we're gonna delete this Pinterest tag part and then we save it. So now the Pinterest tag is integrated and we're tracking any conversions and any data that is coming through Pinterest onto our Shopify site. And you can also integrate other different event codes that trigger it, whether it's a checkout, add to cart, page visit, sign up, watch video, lead, search, view category, or other defined events that you might choose. So that is really up to you. And you can also look into doing this if you wanna do more advanced tracking. And if you still struggle to integrate and install your code, you can basically download the Chrome extension or contact the support. They'd be glad to help you out with your problems. So now we've installed the Pinterest tag onto our store, but in order for us to optimize for conversions, we're gonna to have to reach at least 50 conversions in the next seven days. So we're gonna be diving into creating a traffic ad. So we've already got traffic clicked on and we're just gonna change the campaign name whatever you might name it whatever you want to structure it we're just going to tr call it traffic campaign example and here you can choose the daily spend limit or you can also choose the lifetime spend limit so as soon as this amount is done this ad will be done for and you can also choose to pause the campaign after reaching a specific limit and we're just going to go with a daily spend limit of 10 euros we're going to continue and now we have an audience and targeting to choose from we can go into create new audience right here and we could create an audience that we could copy paste across all different new ads, but we're just gonna add interest right here. So let's say we wanna market off the product that we created in the store setup a few videos ago. So we would choose this product, and for that we would wanna choose a very good targeting method and also interest. So for this I would look under mainly men's fashion or sports or travel. So we're just gonna take a look at men's fashion, and right here, lots of different keywords pop up, different under categories. So we're just gonna go under men's accessories, and then we're gonna look at keywords that pop under men's bag. So we have men's bag selected. So right here you can see the potential audience size, 20 to 22K monthly active users, and this is quite narrow as you can see right here. So similar to Facebook, so therefore we wanna choose and add a lot more different keywords and interests. So we'll also add sports, outdoor sports, so maybe camping and hiking, climbing, fishing, those would be different ones. And we see our potential audience size has already increased significantly, 574K to 610K monthly active users. But we wanna increase this by still quite a bit, but we still wanna increase this by a little bit to make sure our audience size is bigger than a million at least, and the more the better in this case. So we're just gonna go under travel, then under travel tips, and we're gonna click on travel packing. And therefore our audience size is almost at a million, and maybe we wanna look under travel ideas, camping, holiday and outdoor travel and therefore our audience size is roughly at a million we could also choose relevant keywords to increase our ad impressions and for that we would need at least 25 keywords so I'll just show you an example outdoor camping right here you got the monthly searches right here and we want to choose the bigger ones so we're just going to go with outdoor spaces we have lots of different broad keywords that are suggested to us so we can easily just choose from them trekking would be another option but there aren't a lot of bigger keywords we're just going to go with hiking and vacations down the bottom we're going to do camping camping christmas as this could be a potential christmas idea Christmas gift idea, and then camping fashion, camping items, camping trip, and so forth. So we would want to reach at least 25 keywords. And now we come down to more precise targeting. So we can either go with all genders, we can also choose specific genders. Let's just say we go with male only or unspecified, but we're gonna choose both. And also for the ages, we can go with all ages. So pick specific ages or 21 plus required for age restricted advertising. We're gonna go pick specific ages and we're just gonna exclude 65 plus maybe 55 to 64, and this is gonna be our main audience. And then we can choose by locations, all Germany locations, depending where you're currently situated, it will change for you. As I'm currently living in Germany, obviously it says Germany locations for you. Whether you're in US, it will say USA, or maybe UK, you would be UK, so in England or Ireland, etc. So we can choose to pick specific locations, and we're just gonna select all. And right now, our potential audience size increased significantly up to 11.5 to 12.3 million monthly active users. As you guys can see, it's not still too broad, we're just right in the middle, so that is good to have. And now we're gonna choose, instead of all languages, we're gonna choose specific languages. We're gonna diselect all, and we're gonna choose English users only, as we're only gonna be advertising in English. Depending on which country you're selling your products to, you could also choose German only, or French only, Danish only, 
that is up to you. But by choosing English only, our potential audience size obviously decreased up to 8.3 to 9.2 million monthly active users, which is still very good. And right here, you could also choose all devices or pick specific devices, only Android, iPad, web, whatever. And under the advanced options, you could choose also the app group placement. All is recommended. You could also choose browse. So in this case, that would be the targeting we chose in particular, or by search, that would mainly go by the keywords we've chosen. Under budget and schedule, we determine our budget for our pin, for our promoted pin, our ad. We can either go with daily budget or lifetime budget. We can choose also the starting time for the daily budget and also the ending time, same for the lifetime budget. So we're just gonna go with lifetime budget of $100. And we're going to go down and we can also choose our specific bid, our CBC bid, how we really want to compete with the best possible bid. So with the low bid of 60 cents in euros, we're on the lower side of this, but the ad will still be played out. So we're just going to go with 250 and with this we should have a strong bid. Obviously the weaker your bid is, to the less people your ad will be put out, but in this case we want to have the strongest bid possible. If your bid is lower, it will still get put out to the audience, just not the same quality of audience and in the same amount of time. Pacing is standard, that is recommended. You could also choose accelerated, so your ad will be put out to a bigger amount of audience in a quicker time. And at the bottom, we would click on create pin right here. So we're just gonna do that right away. I have to blur this out as this is my current ad account that I'm running ads for my store to. And right here, you would just drag and drop or click to create upload images. And we're just going to upload the image that we created simply via Canva. Obviously, this is not the item or the product that we're using, but it fits perfectly for our pin. So we're just going to add our title. In this case, we're just going to go with 10 DIYs for your beach trip. And then here you would add a little bit of explanation around your product. So in this case, the ad copy. And to keep things simple, we're just going to go with summer theme tips and tricks for the whole family as it is on this picture. And here you could also add a destination link to the store or whatever your domain might be. So our store of the previous video is called tourpack.com and then publish immediately or publish at a later date. And there you would publish it right here. And there you have it, you would have a live and up and running Pinterest ad. So yeah guys, that was the whole process of creating a Pinterest pin, a Pinterest ad, and how to launch it from scratch. Hopefully you guys learned something new and maybe would even look into starting on advertising on Pinterest. This was the whole basic setup. If you guys wanna see me showcase different successful pins and really determine what made them so successful so you guys could have a better visualization to make sure your Pinterest ad is also that successful and you could just have an idea of the whole creation process. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully I could teach you something new. Give me some new knowledge, give me some new value. Let me know also in the comment section down below if you guys would be looking into starting to advertise on Pinterest and also let me know if I should create more videos on Shopify regarding Pinterest. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave some love, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It would be obviously much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa.